Now to an on your side investigation to what the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is and is not disclosing about officer discipline. It's a change that most people don't even realize happened because JSO did not announce it. Now the only reason we actually learned about it was because we requested one officer's discipline history at two different points last year and we received two very different sets of documents. Ann Schindler is on your side tonight. She's been digging into previously unreported policy changes at JSO and why it means a lot less information is being made available to you. Ann? Less is the new more when it comes to what JSO routinely discloses about an officer's discipline history. Previously, all complaints were part of an officer's permanent record known as an officer concise history. Last year, JSO renamed the document and removed a lot of information from it. Just how different is the new document? This one, obtained before the change, shows in highlighter what's been removed. The officer's zone, his assignment, along with six complaints, including allegations of harassment, rudeness, and excessive force. JSO says it made the change because the old reports included complaints that didn't result in discipline. Lieutenant Chris Brown, who oversees JSO's Professional Oversight Unit, notes that full discipline records can still be obtained if you request all Internal Affairs database entries. That's true, but those requests take a lot longer. Case in point, our request for that information took 44 days. The new policy also purges use of force complaints. Previously, there was no time limit on when those complaints were removed from an officer's history. Now, the new policy says all such complaints will be purged after four years. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. And if you have something you would like for our On Your Side investigators to look into, it's easy. Just email them. That email is on your side at firstcoastnews.com.